Hello everyone and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. Thank you for bearing with me while I took a week off last week. Uh, work and life culminated together and left me no time for recording. So we are back. We are going to jump straight into a mythic tale, the legend of Tadayori. Maybe pick up some side missions in this episode before we jump back into story. I hope you enjoy. My lord, please join me. Sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell, but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story is for your ears as well. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. The Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home, but his armor mysteriously vanished. Some say his descendants guard it still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. The little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown, a place in the north of Azamo, strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. Driving the Mongols from our home is all I care about. This armor could help, if it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord. And I believe it is still out there. Find the Violet Crown. Let's go, Nobu. Violet chrysanthemums. The musician who told me the legend of Tadayori mentioned them. It could lead to the Violet Crown. Violet crown. Tadayori's armor could be here. Incense. Burned recently. Something inside that container. A map to Tadayori's rest. Thank <laughs> you. 
More violet chrysanthemums. Tadayuri's rest could be close. are too sheer to climb. There must be another way in. Mongols, how did they find this place? A map, like the one from the Violet Crown. Tadayuri's rest. Graves are these. Time's rushing river slows. Tadayuri's mind at rest. One drawn bow pierces many. Same incense from the Violet Crown, lit recently. The emblem of Clan Nagao. Tadayuri's clan. What are you doing here? Leave, Leave this place. place. I'm not here to fight. I am Jin Sakai, nephew of Lord Shimura. You're a liar and a thief. Defend yourself. I don't want to kill you. Stop! should be fighting Mongols, not each other. You're nothing but a dirty scavenger! It's not possible! You know how to use that stolen blade. Hold, my lord! My name is Kaede, last of Tadayori's line. I heard the samurai were all killed, assumed you were a scavenger. I'm no thief. 
But I seek your ancestor's armor. And you deserve to wear it, Lord Sakai. But the armor is lost. And you have no way to find it. There is a line from an old scroll. Tadayori watches over Azamo Bay for eternity. I suspect it's a clue to where he hid the armor. Tadayori's armor gave him great speed and deadly aim. Wear it in defense of the innocent as he once defended Azamo Bay. Watching over Azamo Bay could mean the cliffs behind town. Violet chrysanthemums. They have the musician. soon. My lord, how did you find us? A descendant of Tadayori pointed me here. What happened to you? A Mongol spy found a long-forgotten scroll written by Tadayori's firstborn. They forced me to decipher it, and it led us here. So they found the armor? No. I misdirected them, hoping you'd reach us in time. You took a big risk. And it paid off. The armor is hidden beneath this memorial. Claim it for yourself, my lord. A memorial to Tadayuri. <laughs> Tadayuri's armor. Artistry is incredible. Stay back, musician. I won't let the Mongols near you. Ready? <laughs> 
That was like watching Tadayori himself. The armor is perfect for an archer. My tale found the right audience. And now it's time for me to move on, my lord. Stand and fight me! Yara, you think we are a thing? Come on! My lord, will you please help me? What is it? I have to get to a camp in the woods, occupied by people who are seriously ill. They need a healer. The area is overrun with bandits and Mongols. Yes, I'll need protection. I can get you there, but this sickness concerns me. You're sure you can fight it? Sickness isn't something you fight. It's something you have to care for. If the people are as ill as you say, we should leave now. Stop the sickness before it spreads. Thank you, my lord. How did you survive the battle at Komodo? It was thanks to a woman. Yuna, she rescued me from the beach, nursed me back to health. She sounds like a gifted healer. She's one of the bravest people I know. I wouldn't be here without her. My mother did the same for me. As a boy, I was always sick, but through her knowledge of herbs, she made me strong. She's the reason I'm a healer. Wait, I think I see something up ahead. Good eye. Stay back. Let me handle it. I thought they were going to kill. 
kill us. You shouldn't be traveling here alone. We had to leave our farmstead, my lord. Everyone there is sick. What brought it on? Spirits. Our ancestors are punishing us. We gave the Mongols our food instead of fighting back. When they left, everyone grew ill. Now our home is cursed. There's an inn just down the road. We should be safe there. It's much too dangerous outside. Get indoors and stay there. Thank you. I only hope the spirits don't follow us. Here. You're quite the butcher with that sword. The bandits would have killed those people. You don't know that. You could have tried talking to them. It would not have helped. You know that. You ask for my protection. Forgive me. My life's work is to heal the body, not destroy it. What is it? What's wrong? It's my son. I think he ate something poisonous. Take me to him. What about those suffering at the camp? We've already delayed. It will only take a moment. Mm. I'll help. Perhaps we can make this quick. Thank you, my lord. See if I can find what it was. Thank you, my lord. Wild mushrooms, half eaten. This must be it. I should tell Hanaoka. Did you find anything? Half eaten mushrooms. You fool! You know better. He must have eaten them out of desperation. I can make an antidote. But I need river moss. Stay with him. I'll find the moss. Find the moss. Here it is. Homeo, listen carefully. Crush this moss, add it to a cup of water, and bring to a boil. Have him drink the mixture, and he should be fine by tomorrow morning. Those at the camp need us now. Yes, let's go. Thank you for saving my son. symptoms were the same as the couple from the farmstead. Aching, vomiting, labored breathing. Symptoms of poisoning? You think the farmstead was poisoned? I'm almost sure of it. In which case, I'll need tubers to treat them. The moss was fine for that man, but tubers are stronger. They grow at a nearby pond. Let's be quick. Them? Ask them politely to move. I'll leave this to your discretion, my lord. Hey!
Over here, my lord. You found the tubers? Yes. Thanks to you, I'm able to harvest them. It's just... watching you, I can't help but wonder if you enjoy the violence. I kill only to protect our people. I think about that every time I reach for my sword. Of course. I'm sorry, my lord. Let's go heal those who need it. The camp should be just ahead. Healer, my wife, she stopped breathing. How long has she been sick? Ever since the Mongols came by our farmstead. What did she eat? We had no food. Just water from the well. I'm sorry. She's gone. <laughs> if only I'd gotten here sooner. You did your best. But maybe if I hadn't delayed, with that couple and that man. If we hadn't stopped, those people would be dead. You also wouldn't have figured out these people were poisoned. Perhaps. But I still don't know how. That man said his wife had nothing but water from the well. And we know people started getting sick after the Mongols left. They must have polluted the well. A contaminated water source would spread sickness like wildfire. But it's treatable? Yes, the tubers will see to it. Then help those you can. Thank you, my lord. You have saved many lives. for anything.
Lord Sakai, my name is Genho. I'm working to raise the spirits of our people. We have a shared cause. I want to remind everyone of our protectors who fell at Komoda. Words are not enough. The samurai clan banners are powerful symbols of those who gave their lives for us. And why we must never yield to the Mongols. Thank you for the banners. I was just reading a scroll on the history of clan Adachi. It is said their first lords were known as the Great Builders. Do you know why? They constructed the Golden Temple of Ariake and the lighthouses you see across the island. Lord Adachi even helped my uncle improve the fortifications of clan Shimura's ancestral castle. He also had a talent for destroying structures, which helped end the Yarikawa Rebellion. I had no idea. Thank you for the lesson, my lord. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Take care. I hope you find more clan banners. I'll be here when you do.
Lord Sakai. Kenji, what are you doing here? Something has gone very wrong, my lord. What did you do? Nothing. The Mongols have taken all our food. Rice, millet, fish, anything they can lay hands on. We're starving. You say we. This isn't your farm. I have been thinking about what you said. And I'm trying to help the farmers here. Where are the Mongols camped? Who knows? They show up every few days and pick up the food and cart it away. I could ambush them. It's not that simple. They've taken hostages. If we don't produce the food, it's... Oh, 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 ah! There must be a way to find them. There is. You won't like it. I will decide that for myself. Come, I'll show you. They make us bundle the food and put it on the beach. All of it from this farm? The farm, scavenging abandoned homes, fishing and hunting, just to fill the bellies of the enemy. What brought you here in the first place? Once the Mongols connected me to you, most places got too dangerous. I thought an out-of-the-way farm would be safer. Food and drink for the Mongols, but the sake barrel is empty. Your plan is to anger the Mongols more? Not exactly. The barrel is very roomy. It could hold a heavily armed heroic samurai. You know what would fit better? A flabby, flexible sake merchant. The Mongols will take the barrel to the heart of their camp. Who could do more good there? Me or you? I don't know why I keep letting you hide me inside things. Because it works. It smells like your breath in here, Kenji. Well, that barrel didn't empty itself. Get ready, my lord. Here they come. Budigen Tergendach. Yes, yes, all yours. Take, take. Faster, Moriga. No, no, no. That's Miko. Miko is my horse. Mine. Nadamatat, more bignik borso. Ow! You can't do this, Miko. No. Kenji's plan actually worked. Negium Harsinta! I can't believe it. We 
You're saved. Take this food back to your farm. Give Kenji the good news. Kenji? Why would I give him anything but a punch in the mouth? What do you mean? He's the idiot who got us into this mess. He tried to cut a deal with the Mongols. Oh, Lord Sakai. That was amazing. Kenji, you suck his swilling piece of monkey dung. I'll handle this. Explain yourself. I might have sold the Mongols food, but given them straw and wood chips instead. To make a profit? To save the farmer's food. You didn't think the Mongols would notice? Mm, not so quickly. All of a sudden, it was punishment, hostages. Give us food or we kill you. I was wrong to encourage you to make yourself useful. What? No, no. No, you weren't wrong, Lord Takai. I can do good. I just need practice. Try not to practice when people's lives are at stake. Yes, my lord. You're damn lucky that samurai spared you, Kenji. I'm sorry, Taro. I was trying to help. You want to help? Choke on a rice ball. I can tell you don't want to talk about this right now. Goodbye. Put that down before you hurt yourself. I'm sorry if my lack of skill offends, my lord. But I have to do something. The Mongols captured my daughter. Where did the dogs take her? Out of the ships. The ones with the Lord's sails. Two vessels. Who knows how many Mongols? You won't stand a chance. I found a boat, a sword. Uh, maybe a friendly samurai can help? Get in the boat and grab an oar. You're too kind, my lord. Just leave the fighting to me.
칭하라고 There's no other way. Negium has seen that. to be all right. Maki? Yes? Your father's waiting with his boat. Come with me. I'll stay close, my lord. Thank you. You killed them all. They deserve this. I know. I just... I can't believe it's over. Show me your skill. Oh, thanks to God. Dosha! Dosha, to the side! Get us back to shore. Right away, my lord. safe now. I was with them for days, father. Days. I should have come sooner. You both need rest. Get to shelter as soon as you have the strength to run. We will, my lord. Thank you. Go, Father. Let me worry about that.
What happened? Bandits, my lord. They took my food. <laughs> Every last scrap. Do you see where they went? Northeast, into the woods. If I find them, they'll regret stealing from you. Please don't harm them. They're just as desperate as I am. No promises. This will make for a grand story. food they stole. My lord, you're back. I have your food. Rice. I don't remember the last time I had rice. You said they stole it from you. Please, for forgive me. You lied to me. Bandits don't deserve food at a time like this, my lord. Besides, I ask you not to hurt them. They gave me no choice. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have lied. I still would have helped you. I won't do it again. I promise. invaders want from us their demons oh no and you know what they want i don't know that
never-ending flow. Unafraid, defenders stand. Ready for the end. that's where we're going to start to wrap things up for this episode if you enjoyed this please hit the thumbs up button if you like your gaming on the daily please consider subscribing i upload at 12 noon uk time every single day of the week so until tomorrow i'll see ya